Thanks for joining us, Gio. Um, just to start us off, can you just let us know your thoughts on the result? What can I tell you? I mean, uh, that finish, that ending, I'm sure that 99% uh, of the stadium thought that we have three points. Um, but that's soccer, that's the beauty of soccer. Sometimes it's tough, uh, sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't go your way. And, uh, and at the end right there, that corner, um, it just went in, that's it. Uh, Chara got pushed, um, got out of position, and then the ball just deflected into the goal. And um, can we have done something more? Maybe yeah, maybe not. I mean, these are moments that are difficult. I thought we played very well. I thought um, we were the better team. I, I think that they only um, had more control um, in uh, the beginning of the second half until we made the substitutions uh, with Eric, Seba, and then we, we regained control again of the match. Uh, even though it was um, an open transitional game, uh, they probably had the two best opportunities in the match. Uh, and Alio uh, made two phenomenal, uh, I won't say saves, uh, he prevented those two opportunities very, very well. And then sometimes when a day like that comes in and you score a goal in the, what was it, uh, 94th minute, uh, you think you're going to win. But that's, you know, that's soccer. You have to just keep on working. Now we have, you know, two ways to go, which is one is look and at this game and say, wow, we lost two points. Uh, oh, my God, at the end. Uh, but we are not going to do that. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to stay positive because there are many things that I saw positive. We're getting players back little by little. Bravo was able to play 45 minutes. Eric was able to play a couple of minutes. Paredes is getting close to maybe be available. So now when we get guys back and he's got that, I mean, he was a gas out. He couldn't, he couldn't run anymore. So when we get those guys back again, uh, I think um, things will be even, even better. So we have to stay focused. We have to look at the fact that we didn't lose at least one point, and one point today put us in a better situation. So uh, keep on working. That's uh, that's the most important part, and, and the team understands that. Now we got to practice tomorrow again and prepare for next game. That is going to be another difficult one. We'll open it up to questions. Who would like to begin? All right. All right. Uh, have you ever seen two goals that late in a regular season match? Yeah, in Vancouver uh, Friday. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so it's crazy. It's crazy that it's happening so often um, in many games. Uh, there's so many games right now. That's that's the way the league is. It's open and, and difficult. And and uh, at the moment, uh, I mean, you can argue that they push the ball like 10 meters ahead of where the foul was. Uh, that maybe we should have been a little more organized towards the end right there. Maybe we should have dive uh, in when Chara, you know, was pushed uh, to get him out of the position in the corner. But I, I got to see all the good things that we did, and we did a lot of good things. And in a way that was very interesting with guys that we had to play in different position with a different system. I thought Loria came into the game really well, as I said before. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, at the moment uh, when the ball goes in. You feel it really deep inside, but uh, right, right there, you have to just be positive and, and continue to work, and that's it. Hey, Gio, a little off topic, but you know, given the craziness of this game, it, it seems relevant. Uh, Fifty-seven goals, I believe it was today in Major League Soccer, um, new league record for a day. W what do you make of the state of the league right now, just generally? So I think that there's two things there. One is that is a league in which um, it's open. The games are really open, and uh, there's a little more quality players that have come in, and, and they can penalize you in important moments. So that's why you see more goals. I mean, I saw some of the goals, some of the games, and I saw some quality goals. Um, so I think the league is getting better. It's improving. Um, and year by year, we see teams investing more. Um, and I think this is a positive in that, you know, always relate to, to goals. At the end, the game is about goals. And you, when you have better quality players, uh, you see you see goals. Uh, but I also have to say that maybe all the teams need to be better tactically. And there's a lot more work that needs to be done in order to make sure that maybe uh, 
you know, or teams uh, uh, can get better in not allowing uh, those goals. Um, so I think it's, uh, it's, it's a double kind of, you know, sore in, in some way. Uh, but I think the most important thing is for the, for the fan, uh, the, the person that comes to the game, watching a 6-3 probably is more, more interesting than a 1-0. Uh, but I'd say the 1-0 if we would have won today. For sure. And uh, what did you think of Marvin's effort putting him in in the second half and then him eventually getting the goal? Yeah, I mean, we we had the option to put Rasmussen uh, as well, uh, but we felt that we wanted to put more of an attacking player like Luria. Uh, he played uh, the other day the same position and he looked good, so we felt that he was a little more comfortable coming in, and uh, he looked good. He helped us um, when he came in. I, I thought, you know, he found a lot of good spaces going forward, but I think in the second half we struggled at the beginning. Um, I, I think we were trying to figure it out. I think they pressed us a little bit more. I think they threw more players in behind. They found more sp those spaces wide. Uh, but then I thought that when we put Eric, uh, McGraw, and, um, and Seba, we regained control again. And that's why I think we got you know closer to be able to score and had that opportunity with the PK um, at the end. So. I think Loria did very well um, when he came in. He's he's a player that uh, is is in good health, and when he comes in, I think he can he can help in a, in a big way. Hopefully, he can get more goals. Hopefully, everybody can get more goals. I know we have one of the few teams with multiple goals, but uh, hopefully, we have more players like Loria that continue to score. Hey Gio, I don't know if any sort of soccer writer or higher power could write a crueler ending than a own goal from a club legend on the back of three games in eight days. Um, what's, I guess, the immediate message to the players to make sure heads don't drop? And how do you prepare both mentally and physically going forward into another tough game in, against Toronto? Yeah, I think I think the first thing is that the club legend look very good today. So I think we, we have to continue to see uh, that for me, you know, questionably the, be the best signing you know, by Gavin um, in MLS. Uh, Chara is, is phenomenal. I mean, um, everywhere that we play or against anybody that we play, always the coach from the other team comes to me and says, Chara was very good today. So, I mean, it happens. Uh, today, just a flick. I'm sure that, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a moment that is not going to happen many times. Um, and that's why I have to remember the good things that he did. So that's why I think today, when we look back in the future, near future, hopefully when we make playoff, we look at this as a game that, yes, we could have gotten the three points, but this gave us the opportunity to be tougher, to be better, to be stronger, to understand that it's not going to be easy, and that we're going to have to put a, a big fight. And Chara will be the one that leading uh, as a, in, in the group, you know, the, 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 the team to, to get there. Uh, Gio, this is the second game in a row you've rolled with that back three system. Um, just what were your general thoughts on how it functioned over the past couple of games, and are there any elements of it that you're hoping to maybe implement in the games moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the more versatile that, that we are as a team, I think the, the better we are because that way we can adapt to different situations. And, and I think um, we try it. Uh, we, we have played like that. I mean, in, in some games to end the game, not to the to the start of the game. So we were in a situation um, last game that we needed it. Uh, so that was the only solution that we found uh, without having defense in mid. And, uh, and today, uh, we felt that it was suited for Dallas um, in some of the things that they like to do. Um, we prevented those things. We had to manage other things, as they did have to manage some of our very good possession um, and how we opened them up. You know, from switching the point of attack from one side to the other. Um, could we see it again? Of course. I mean, uh, now it becomes uh, even better because the the players understand it better. So we just have to make sure that game by game, we decide how we move forward and uh, and uh, and try to build the best eleven that we can put in.